This is Amit Sapir. He's planning on doing GPA Worlds in three weeks and trying to make an attempt at the raw, no re knee wrap uh, squat record. Unfortunately, Amit's been Olympic squatting. He was an Olympic lifter in his background for the last 20 years and is a current IFBB pro with some huge quads. Those massive quad development combined with all that forward knee drive and inward knee drive from his Olympic lifting days basically made it impossible for him to, to hit depth. He was squatting hams to calves and uh, he was still high. So Meek came to work with me, only had a few days and the meat just around the corner so we wanted to take a very quick look at fixing this issue, so not entirely retooling the squat, but building a foundation for the future at the same time. So my goal here, yes, I'm physically karate chopping him while we're coaching here. Uh, there's a reason for that. But my goal was to be able to control his knee position so that we can get him to where he can hit depth and apply that to the bar. We started with stabilizing his core, so he's gonna definitely gonna need that uh, foundation um, to be strong from, cueing more glute activation, becoming a less quad dominant squat, and getting that balance between the glute and the VMO, the adductors, to control the knee position, and getting uh, stabilization in the upper body, uh, some of the things that, uh, a lot of things that you see in my videos. So this is day one, we worked up to five doubles uh, with uh, 500 pounds. Day two, I didn't capture much film from, but uh, we worked on some alternative cueing patterns, modern patterns to uh, uh, reinforce the technique that we're teaching and also so that he can take those things home and continue to learn the pattern. Um, did some things from a mobility perspective that you may see in some of my videos uh, with band r &T squats, uh, the whole glute activation sequence. Um, so we walked through all these things as well. If you've watched any of Amit's prior squat videos, you'd notice that this is a very dramatic change in a pretty short period of time on uh, what he's doing. Day three, we decide we're gonna hit some weights and see where we're at. The cues you hear me giving are not the be all and end all of everything. These are ones specific to what I have seen going on with Amit and they're gonna have an immediate impact on accomplishing what we're trying to accomplish here. So that's variable by athlete, by goals. Um, but there's some pretty common themes though with uh, with my approach and you've probably seen that in a lot of uh, my instructional videos. So the current all-time record with uh, no knee wraps in the 198 class that uh, Meet's going for, I think he's weighing 205 in this video here, that's what he told me, is 705 pounds. So we decided to work up to that. A number of these uh, videos, you can see us changing outside judges on some of this stuff, uh, capturing depth. Again, you know, without uh, being there in person and seeing the uh, the size of that quad sweep, it's really tough to tell unless you're actually judging him directly from the side. Of course, the one video that does count is 705. Uh, the uh, camera's out of focus. I must have moved it and not uh, reset the focus. Twist that floor apart! But even out of focus, I'd like you to take a look, quick look at the uh, screenshot uh, captured of that. Take a look here and look at that right leg and imagine the uh, that big quad sweep pulling back towards uh, towards that hip. And you're going to not see a problem at all. So a couple days, I believe we've got the issue resolved and he is ready to kill it. Come GPA Worlds here in a couple weeks and looking more towards bigger things from a meet in the future.